welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a video all on getting ready with me. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup, my hair. I thought I would share with you guys some products that I've been using. Um, I decided to test out some new like skin tint products and I'm absolutely loving the way my skin looks today and I feel like it's partly the skincare as well so I'll walk you guys through that as well and I have a new lip combo which I'm very excited to share but before we get into the video I wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Magic Links and for those of you who aren't familiar with Magic Links it's a really great affiliate program um, where you can basically generate links and make commission off of sales and with that being said Magic Links has helped me because as a content creator we make money based off different avenues of income I have used Magic Links since I started my YouTube channel almost nine years ago it's very quick and easy to create your monetizable links they have a little generator on their website or their app and you basically put the link in and it'll let you know if it's monetizable and if it does it'll create a little um, magic link and then you can go ahead and share it on your Instagram or on your YouTube page and they've also created a um, page called obsessed with it for instance you can either create your own like like landing page where people can shop if you wanted to do my top favorite foundations in the landing page and then link all the different foundations you can do that or my favorite is when you can upload pictures from your Instagram so that way people can shop your look whether if it's a selfie or an outfit or home decor anything it's just a really great useful platform that has really helped me over the years and has kind of helped me expand my brand and grow so I highly recommend it it's super Super easy to use it's not complicated thank you so much to magic links for sponsoring today's video and with that being said let's just jump right into the look okay so to start off we're gonna do makeup um, I actually prepped my skin already with these two products from aloe yoga the aloe radiance serum and the luminizing face moisturizer these two products together you guys I swear to you like it makes my skin look so dewy and glowy and just healthy but what I love about it is that it's not super heavy either like even though this cream is like kind of on the thicker side once you kind of apply it to the skin you just let it sink in and I swear to you in five minutes your skin just looks so dewy and cute I just feel like you guys need to try these two they're so good so yeah I've already prepped my skin with that um for skin today I am going to test out these guys these are the Milk Makeup um, Sunshine Skin Tints with Broad Spectrum SPF 30 and they're supposed to be lightweight, kind of light coverage which I feel like is perfect for right now because I'm really liking how my skin looks today um, but something really light coverage I feel like wouldn't do any harm. I'm going to be using the shade Medium. I've never used these before but like look how interesting this whole thing looks. It has like a little thing like this I don't know oh I see so am I supposed to just roll it on ew okay is this a little light I don't know we'll see it's a little light all right I'm gonna grab golden honey as well and oh yeah that's more my shade right there so I'm just going to take a buffing brush and just buff this into my skin. Even though this is like a light coverage skin tint, I just like to always push the product in with a beauty blender. Okay, and then for concealer today, I've really been liking the Kosas concealers. I like to use number 6.8 and this is for, this is like pretty much my skin tone and then I go in with five just to brighten up underneath my eyes and areas where I want to like highlight a little bit more. I'm going to just brighten up underneath my eyes. So for setting my skin, I'm actually going to be using the MAC Cosmetics Medium Dark mineralized skin finish um this is a product i've had since i was like in high school <laughs> you guys know me i don't set everything 
but whenever I wear like a foundation or tinted anything, I just wanna make sure it stays put. So I use something really lightweight um, that's not gonna give me a ton of coverage and still looks really natural. So underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury um, setting powder. I'm just gonna take it on here. This is number two. It's the best under eye setting powder I've ever used. I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna take the Glossier Boy Brow, just kind of run this through my brows lightly and just sort of push them up. I'm gonna let the brow gel kind of set really quickly before I go in and just fill the tails of my brows. So for blush today, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Rose Latte um, shade. It looks like this, it's like a deeper um, rosy tone. Take a little bit on the back of my hand just so that I don't get a ton of color, but I'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks. You guys know I always like to start with like a liquid or a cream blush just because I feel like it always ends up looking like a natural sort of flush and I like to really focus like right on the apple of the cheek diffuse it going back um, I don't really use this blush so much just because I feel like it's a little splotchy but it's not terrible. Per usual, I'm just gonna add some right to the lid. And today I'm gonna use a little palette just to do a little eyeshadow moment. But I do like to always throw the blush in the crease no matter what, because I feel like it just ties everything together. For palettes, I'm gonna use this. Um, I thought this is, I just shoved my fingers so hard into this palette, oh my gosh. So this palette is the Koki Artist Palette in the shade Goddess, and this is what it looks like. I'm curious to see how the pigmentation is. I'm just gonna grab this like really pretty burnt orange shade and run this through the crease. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of this shade down here, this like really pretty burnt brick color. I'm gonna apply this on my lid. Pigmentation's pretty good. I'll just kind of blend that out into the crease all over the lid. So cute, right? Love it. So I'm gonna take this color here. I'm gonna try it. It's like a nice brown, like a nice oaky brown color. And we're just gonna apply this on the lash line. See if it's light enough. It's a little too light. I don't know if it's gonna work. Take a little bit of this dark charcoal shade. Sometimes wings look really weird um like this but once you like curl your lashes and everything it looks way better the mascara i'm gonna be using is the ilia mascara it's my favorite mascara of all time and i'll be right back i'm like looking at myself in the viewfinder and it's so cool toned in here and i don't know because it's overcast right now i'm just not used to it i'm way tanner in the mirror than i am here i don't know it looks really strange anyway speaking of being tan <laughs> I'm gonna use some bronzer, airbrush bronzer in number two. And I'm just going to warm up my face. Every time I do this, I think of Mean Girls and I'm like, I look like a British man. <laughs> I watched the Free Britney documentary on Hulu. Is it a series or is it like just a, you know, one hour? documentary I have no idea someone told me it's a series but I don't know I used to think those were just like conspiracy theories but it seems like there's a lot of fact to it all anyway it was good I recommend it if you guys haven't seen it it's super good I'm gonna take a little bit of the bronzer on just like a 
flat brush and I'm going to do my nose. I'm just take my sponge and just sort of stamp. Kind of like blends it and pushes it into the skin almost. Okay, now I'm gonna take my, my Morphe eyebrow pencil. This one, like I said, is in the shade Hazelnut. And I'm just gonna fill in the areas that are more sparse. I'm gonna take this brow gel. This is the Arches and Halos brow gel. And I'm just gonna, this is like what seals my brows for the day. <laughs> Cause it stays put with this gel. And I was at Target yesterday and I never really go through the beauty section. And there's so many new brands, um, makeup, skincare, like even like their supplements are crazy, but it's awesome. And I saw the Arches and Halos stand and I was like, oh my gosh, wow. And everything, they have everything, which was so great. And then for a blush, um, I'm just going to apply a powder blush. This is the Kajar Weiss Flush and Glow in the shade, oh, I don't know. I'll have to let you guys know because these are basically like refillable, yikes, pans and you can just like stick them in. I'll link it down below which shade this is. And just start applying it onto the apples of thy cheeks. I really don't like stray away from different highlighters. I probably should be trying more highlighters than I am, but I just really like this one. I've had this for years. You guys have seen it. I literally use it in like every makeup video, um, but I just do this, a little bit of this, and I'm just gonna use a little bit and I basically just apply it right there. Apply some there and then I apply it right above my brow. I'm going to use my little brush like this. It's like this tiny Morphe brush. Naturally where the light is hitting my nose, I'm going to put that there. I'm taking my lip balm off. For lip liner, I'm going to be using the Kajar Weiss a Lip Pencil in Saturate. Um, I just received a couple of these like Kajar products and um, I'm really liking a lot of them so far. And am I saying that right? Kajar? Kajar? It's gotta be, right? KJ? Look how pretty that lip liner is. So cute, right? Okay, and then what I like to do is I take O Coco and I'll go around the edges. So you can just leave it at that. I feel like it looks really pretty, like just as is, but I'm going to use this and I just discovered this. Also another one of those brands that are available at Target, just super affordable. This is a lip cream um, and you guys know I love like my NYX Cosmetics lip cream so anything like this I absolutely love. Um, these are really similar to formulation as the NYX ones. This one is in the shade Leave Me Alone. I don't know, it's just really pretty. And it's a really nice light consistency. So what I've been doing lately is taking this brush, this is the Sephora 24, you just need like a little small blending brush like in comparison to like a standard blending brush, this one is a little smaller. And all I do is I just start to blend the colors together. The bristles are really soft. It doesn't get all over my face. Okay, and then for makeup setting spray, I've, lo I've been loving this one. It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray um, by Charlotte Tilbury. It smells unreal and just, just the most beautiful setting spray. 
Okay, so for my hair, I'm going to just run my hair through a straightener real quick. I'm just going to take um, this Gizu heat protecting spray. I love this heat protecting spray. It's a little expensive, but I just, I really like it. I'm gonna be using the Dyson Corral just to kind of straighten up some pieces around the face. Like I blew my hair out yesterday, so just kind of fix some of these pieces right here. And I'm gonna use my Corral. So I just kind of turn on the setting. There it goes. It's pretty much ready to go. It was so fast. And I just strain it. I'm just gonna brush it through and then I'm gonna apply this serum into my hair and it's not a hair oil my hairstylist who does my um, color and cut and extensions and all that stuff she recommended this pro oh it's right here it's the split end seal by Orbe and um, I take about like I don't know like a dime size amount it's not oily at all. It's like watery-ish, I don't know. But what it does, it just kind of smooths and seals those dead ends. So like sometimes I'll have these like broken pieces, like see this here? If I take my hand and I run it through, it just kind of seals everything together. Really like this, just like a nice serum. My stylist who does my hair, she calls this the um, haircut in a bottle. So it kind of just helps with the split ends as it's marketed for. So I recommend it a lot. Okay, so that completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to check out the description box. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.